Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to some career mode at last the drought is over I've just come back up from London and I've been greeted by an enormous amount of career mode gameplay and uh, In order to get that out to you as much as possible I'd love it if you guys could get this to 3,000 likes and we'll both go balls deep and I'll upload another episode for you chaps anyways we're looking at some striker options, uh, Jackson Martinez. Um, I believe if you don't do the squad update when you start the um, when you start your career mode, make sure it's uh, selected to download latest. You'll find that it's always the most accurate. And um, if if you don't have that selected, then um, it'll say that Jackson Martinez has just recently moved to his club. Whereas if you do download the latest, you can actually go ahead and purchase him straight off the bat. But unfortunately for me. I didn't have the funds to buy him. So, you know, with that being said, though, I already had some decent players um, on the line. Those, um, some I actually wanted to, to take a look at my own squad. Was there any players there that I could sell off to just kind of uh, buff out my transfer budget? As you can see, I do only have 500000 at the moment. And uh, I was even contemplating bringing someone in on loan. Um, I wasn't, because then, you know, if you bring them in on loan and you put, um, like, a future fee that you're willing to pay, um, a lot of the times when you do that, um, you, can, you have a lot of time to sort of build up the funds the, in order to buy him with his future fee. Um, so, you know, that was one of the options I kind of uh, took um, into mind, I suppose. But uh, no one really kind of gave me the sort of option where I could go and loan them out for, you know, only 500000 And uh, yeah, it just wasn't my sort of thing. A lot of the times as well, you have to pay their full wage budget. So, uh, sorry, their full um, weekly wages. So uh, I obviously, not a lot of wage budget at the moment. I only have zero. So unless the guy wants wants to work for me for free, I can't really see too much going down, but, um, you know, I figured I'd, I'd made some good transfers, some good things that happened, you know, the only things that are really going to happen now are uh, players leaving the club, and, you know, if someone does, a big does leave the club and leaves me with some uh, tasty funds, then I'm always uh, open to sort of um, bringing in some more players, but at the moment, it's just really not looking like it at all. Um, so yeah, nil nil into this game here, and uh, it was actually relatively early on. I'm actually finding it. Um, I've mentioned it before. One of my biggest struggles with this team at the moment is um, finding the back of the net. You know, it is taking me quite late into the game to come up with the opportunities, and unfortunately for me, it didn't take long till they scored against me. And uh, you know, like I said, it's just taking me a long time to just get goals, and it's really starting to um, irritate me. You know, and when I say a long time, I just mean like sort of in-game time. You know, I won't. You usually score early on in the game. It usually takes until about half time or something um, that I end up scoring. I mean, the team is okay at the moment, but like I said, the striking options are a little bit um, weak at the moment. You know, I'm playing, I'm playing uh, Sigurdsson, I think is how you say his name, and uh, he's he's a good striker, and he's definitely got some potential to be someone really good. Um, Ibarbo there managed to pick up more of a consolation goal than anything to make it 2-1, and uh, that's a defeat. They're a little bit disappointed in all honesty because it would be nice to pick up a win and uh, I am looking to hopefully win this title if not come at least second you know second or first place um, that's as low as I'm willing to go is second place and that might sound a little sound a little bit crazy crazy um, I ended up receiving a transfer offer to someone I actually put on the transfer list and the reason why I put him on the transfer list is that I've actually already got quite a few wingers so I've already got enough depth in those particular positions and uh, not to mention I could do with the extra cash but I decided I really did want to push for just that little bit more so I asked for an extra million on top of what they had come to me with and uh, for that reason was mainly because I know if I settled for about 2.4 I probably would have received around maybe like 1.5 just for myself and uh, whereas if I had uh, picked him up or if I had sold him for a 3.4 I may have got you know 2.5 um, back because the board tends to take a good chunk of whatever you sell him for which is uh, actually pretty realistic, and I quite like that, although it can be quite uh, irritating sometimes because, you know, you might sell a big player for 40 million or whatever, but you actually only get, like, 31 million of it. So, uh, in that aspect, it can be slightly irritating, but, uh, you know, you, you got to deal with these sort of things. But let me go uh, back and talk a little bit about um, Sigurdsson and uh, my thoughts on him and uh, what my future plans will be with that striker position. So, um, at the moment, you know, he's a good player. I've heard that he develops really well, so it's worth giving him a shot. Um, but what one of the things I have to admit was that I was let down is it was his finishing, you know. Um, he gets into some good positions. Um, he doesn't exactly have the pace to, you know, uh, fire past the defenders like Ibarbo does at times. Um, and, you know, those sort of near post uh, goals that Ibarbo there scores, he uh, Sigurdsson just can't do at the moment. And I'm not too sure whether I just have to wait um, and, uh, you know, just wait for him to develop a little bit better and maybe hopefully he'll, he'll you know, improve. But uh, part of me really just, uh, because it is important that I do well in the first season, 
And uh, maybe he just suits better as one of those players who, you know, comes on if um, there's a bit of low fitness in the team. Maybe there's an injury in the striker position or something like that. Because, uh, don't get me wrong, I want to see him improve. But at the same time, I am, like... Co costing myself uh, my own goals if that makes sense you know uh by by having him in there i'm kind of accepting that my attacking threat is going to be a little bit weaker so uh, i've got to really figure out something that'll work out well one thing that i'm uh, definitely going to try out soon is uh playing ryan babel as striker because um at the moment he's on the bench and i feel as though you know a 77 rated player and although that might not be a lot to you guys um on this team 77 rated is actually pretty good you know him and ericsson and uh, maybe one or two other players are, the, are my um highest rated players and I feel as though by having Babel um, on the bench is a little bit of a letdown you know he's not that old as well I believe he's around 26 years old so uh, you know he's not one of those sort of youngsters who might burst into life and end up being a 90 rated player or something like that but he is definitely um, someone who should be used in the squad so I'm tempted you know why not try him as striker we saw what I did at Q uh, QPR when I played a Neymar who's a left winger and I put him at striker that worked wonderfully so maybe I should try playing um what do you call it? Um, a Babel, Ryan Babel as a, a striker, just to see how that works out. I reckon him and Embarbo could make for a deadly, deadly partnership. But that's something I'll have to try in the in the near future. And uh, definitely something that um, I'm interested in. I mean, what do you guys think? How, how do you guys think I should go about this particular situation? Um, they're, the attackers, they just completely messed that up. I mean, that was an opportunity for them. And, uh, yeah, you know, we were 2-0 up. It was looking very comfortable. I felt uh, felt as though the team actually played quite well. Um, Fisher there, he, d damn, this guy has got pace. I mean, look at the way he just burns, burns those um, defenders. And he just runs all the way down. And uh, props to him for that because he literally made this goal he really really did um but oh sorry he, he, they didn't score there but he completely made that opportunity is what i was meant to say um but you know two no two no win one for barbara one for sigerson that's a good win um you know it would be nice to win a little bit more comfortably but a two nil um that's completely fine um i'm just uh i'm, I'm a little bit nervous about finding the back of the net because that seems to be the biggest issue for the squad at the moment is just banging in the goals i mean we saw um what i what we were managed to do at qpr you know we were scored three four goals on the regular each game but i suppose those sort of things uh, come when the players sort of improve, their finishing improves, things like that. But <clears throat> I was uh, I was warned actually that my players would be having to leave, unfortunately, away for some international duties. But we actually had uh, transfer deadline day coming up, and uh, you know, with five hundred thousand in the kitty and uh, about nothing to spend on wages, I was going to be completely butt fucked for this day. And I just didn't expect any sort of activity. But it'd be interesting to see whether I'd receive any sort of last-minute offers or anything along those lines. But as you can see, transfer deadline day, epic mode engaged. And then, uh, for you guys, right, one of the weirdest things I find about transfer deadline day is... So, let's say you get to about the last two hours. I um, mean, the last two hours, you literally... It's almost impossible to get a deal off. Um, you know, if you put a bid in for someone and then, uh, back, uh, and then you have one hour left and they say it's accepted. And then you go and put in... In, um, a contract offer for them and uh, you know a lot of the times it just you just don't have enough time so never ever try and bid for a player unless you have um, you know at least three hours left in the in the um, deadline day so that's just a little uh, pro tip there for you guys so if you actually sell someone relatively important on transfer deadline day make sure it's very early on in transfer deadline day you know you just woken up had your breakfast and someone sold make sure it's then and not when you're just going down for your dinner and then someone sells and then you're like oh crap we don't have enough time to bring someone in um but yeah you know not a lot of activity more of uh, other other people trying to buy my players um compared to me going out searching for other players i mean you can just see that was just spamming the advance button nothing really tickled my fancy no players i was necessarily looking at and i feel as though this team is going to be really good. I just have to kind of wait it out, you know, play games, let them improve, let them become better players. And um, with that, one, they'll become better players for the team. Two, their value will increase a whole lot more. Seriously, that's something you guys need to realize is that not only will they just become better players, their value will increase tremendously. Um, as you can see, Aston Villa tried to pick up um, the central defensive midfielder that I've been playing for a while now. Um, and I believe he actually does end up selling, which is pretty good. You know, um, they decided to match it. So we pretty much got a million for that, which is okay. You know, um, the defensive mid position, I felt pretty comfortable in letting him go. Um, and there were definitely some replacements I could have easily had. I mean, as you can see, they only gave me 800 to 1,000 of that. But that is completely 
cool and oh gravy baby so i go I hope you guys have all enjoyed this video and like i said it oh just as i hit the mic there again i swear i hit the mic on like every commentary i do um like i said uh if you guys would like to see another episode of career mode today then be sure to leave a like guys i cannot thank you enough for all your support baby jesus have a good day i'll see you guys later Bye bye